Hey, this is Eb. I'm back here with a little update on the Farida uh, guitar. I want to just uh, show some things uh, that I did to it. Uh, I've got a previous video where I do kind of a more extensive review on it, but uh, essentially these are some early Gibson Jumbo copies that uh, elderly music out of uh, uh, up, in, up north uh, east is having made <clears throat> in China. They're very inexpensive. I've got a link that you can follow to order them directly from them. Uh, this model uh, is terribly well priced uh, for what it is. This one has uh, laminate back and sides, but it has a solid spruce top that's X brace, and it's got a really cool look to it. Uh, people always ask me about it uh, when I take it out and play. Um, I my favorite guitars are basically 1950 and older Gibsons uh, acoustics. I just love them. That's that's what I go for. Um, but the price of those these days, if I wanted to get a, uh, it's hard to find a, a wartime, you know, J45 for under $10,000, uh, nor less a Southern Jumbo. So uh, the, the guitars that I have from that era that I did not pay that kind of money for, uh, it's kind of hard to justify taking them out into bad weather uh, and whatnot. Uh, I go out and play all kind of fun things. My kids and I go to um, play outdoor events. Like we played at a thing last night and we played out on the street at this big art walk. Um, kind of a busking type situation, but it was, uh, gosh, it had to be 108 at least Fahrenheit. Uh, I'm not sure what that is in Celsius, but it was, it was hot. And I, we were sweating, which is fine. Uh, you know, we're humans, we can handle that. But these guitars that are that are really old, that can be rough on them. So I wanted uh, something that I, I didn't feel bad about taking out and damaging. Because even people who, who will act all tough about it say, oh, it's a guitar they are meant to be played. It's like, yeah, but there's some of these guitars are from the golden era of music, American music in the golden era of Luthery, and they're special. And we are stewards, we are caretakers of them right now. You're not going to be the last owner of it. So don't be the guy that was foolish, or gal that was foolish with it and, and does things to it that, that are regrettable in the life of that instrument. Uh, they should be uh, well taken care of. They should be played. We should take them out. But if, if you know it's going to be terrible weather, um, you know, I, I've been out in some situations where it's really humid and dewy and your instruments are all getting wet. Well, that, that doesn't need to be happening to a, a, a really fine, fine instrument. Uh, when there's other substitutes. It's, it doesn't sound that much better in that particular situation that I should damage it uh, just for the, the looks of it. So uh, this for the value, um, I could buy 20 of these for the cost of my, what it cost to get you a Southern Jumbo like mine. So I didn't pay that for it, mine other one, but, but just, to, just to give you an idea. So for me, it's kind of a no brainer to get one of these. Um, if it gets stolen or stepped on or rained on, uh, it's not it's not gonna be a great uh, great loss or tragedy so and this is pretty durable with the back and sides being laminate so uh, some of the things uh, that I did to it aren't aren't uh, nothing too great I, I did a level and crown on the frets just to just to address those, those issues to make it more playable uh, my buddy gave me a set of these um, uh, they're like the old Gibson monosteel strings and so I wanted to try those out uh, on here. And, but the, the thing I did, this is just kind of nerdy stuff. This, this is just for my own thing, uh, just for the look. Uh, these older guitars like this did have uh, through saddles instead of a drop-in saddle. And I just didn't like the look of the drop-in one. I'm a luthier, I can do these sort of things. I wouldn't recommend uh, paying somebody else to do it that would change the value of, of the guitar or your the amount of money you put into it It wouldn't make it worth anymore, but it makes it look cooler to me. So I put in a uh, Just a through saddle through there. So it look like the older ones. That's just for me. That's just a fun thing uh, I, I did just a, a Kind of a rough regular buff on everything like you do for a polish on this guitar and it just kind of knocked off that really uh, high high gloss buff that came from you know just being an Asian import guitar to make it look a little bit older I'm trying to get anything else I did oh I'll we'll put a little amber lacquer on the 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 nut uh, like those old ones have that that I think is particularly cool um, but that's it but but uh, I'd never set it up before I was just taking it out 
and now I've got it set up and it just sounds tremendous. Um, oh, I also, th th again, this is just my own, uh, my own foolishness with my own guitar. Uh, I'm not going to recommend other people do this, but I noticed that the tone bars weren't scalloped, so I scalloped the, the tone bars in there, and I, I think it definitely opened it up, um, gives a lot more color. Um, so. I don't need a banjo killer to drown them out, but I need something big and warm and fuddy to, to like a blanket to set underneath those that fiddles. So yeah, a lot of sound for for um I think Elderly is, has them on sale right now for 355 bucks. So I think that's a killer deal. Um, if you're interested in that thing or, or if you've been looking them up and you don't know anything about them. So I uh, hope you found this helpful. Uh, if you did or know someone else who would find it helpful, send, send them a go to that arrow button down there and, and forward it to a friend. Uh, you can It'll let you text or email, all kind of stuff. Um, uh, if you like it, please hit that little like button down there. And if you'd like to see more of these, I uh, probably won't do too many more videos with this, but you'll probably see me out in public. Uh, if you catch me playing some outdoor shows, uh, you'll see me with th with this thing. And uh, but uh, Oh, the, one more fun thought about these. If you put a pickup in one of these, they sound the same as any other guitar with the same pickup. So uh, pickups are usually just picking up the, the strings and the saddle and, and the bridge and just a little bit of the bridge plate in the top right there, but they don't capture the whole sound. So uh, this would be a great candidate for that. Uh, you could put the same pickup in this in your number one guitar, especially if you played a J45 or a... Uh, some kind of a, a J35 or Southern Jumbo, something like that, or an old Jumbo. Uh, this would be a nice substitute, and most people wouldn't notice, notice the difference unless they're uh, some of us weird collectors who, who really pay close attention to all these things. Thanks for watching.